Now, with all of these banks collapsing, uh, people are obviously losing trust in the banking system or in the financial system as a whole. And there's been a lot of talk about DeFi or decentralized finance being the future. Is there a future for decentralized finance, for cryptocurrencies and, and blockchain technology? What's your opinion? There is, but not really today. Um, it's there's a lot of a lot of circumstantial evidence to believe that the very people who are hostile to crypto are the ones that blew it up, blew up DeFi during the last Bitcoin bull market, and now we've had it's basically been a kind of a boiler room style operation and a pump and dump. And I, I, I subscribe to that that version of events. I do believe that the commercial banking system is in trouble. I do believe that there's an ideological fight over the governance of the world as to whether we're going to have public formation of capital or private formation of capital. I put Powell on the side of those who want to have private formation of capital, where we still have commercial banks. And DeFi is yet another iteration of private formation of capital, except in the digital space. We have actors out there who are openly hostile to the private formation of capital. They believe in the public formation of capital. These are people centered around the World Economic Forum. This is the Chinese, for, for the Chinese government, for the most part, you know, we have to look at that as the existential fight here, as, as the real fight, and everything else is kind of downstream of that. Bitcoin and uh, decentralized finance are trying to solve a problem, but the world isn't ready for that problem yet. And it's not going to be ready for that problem for a while. But it's good that we're having these conversations now. It's good that we're going through the first iterations of these ideas and, and whatnot. Talk to me in 10 years about DeFi is, my, is the short answer. Hi, I'm Tom Luongo, and you're watching Think Smart Education.